Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have this uh, 2001 Toyota Corolla. We're going to be changing the rear brake shoes and we're also going to be changing the drums at the same time. Alright, we do have our new drum here. We have our new brake pad, brake shoes here at the same time. Uh, so now we have the wheel is off the car. We need to get the drum off. Uh, make sure that your parking brake is released because if the parking brake is applied, you will not be able to get this, this drum off the car. So make sure your parking brake is off. So therefore, make sure you have something hold on the, the wheel so that the car does not roll. All right, now we're going to take the drum off. If the drum does not come off, this one does come off because I already had the drum off to see what parts I needed to replace. But if the, if the drum itself did not come off, you would take a bolt such as this and you would put it into this point right here. There's a, there's a threaded hole here and here. What you want to do is you want to catch this bolt in here and you want to catch the second bolt up inside here. Now you could beat this with a hammer and you could beat on it to try to get it to loosen up which will probably work but at that point you'll have that, all that dust all over the place and you'll be breathing it and you really don't want to do that. Alright, so now we catch these screws in here like this and now we just turn them in very slowly until they make contact with the with the hub inside there just like this and you turn it and you see how it pulls that drum off of the vehicle and it pulls the drum right off just like this all right so now we are going to take these back out because we're going to need these for the other side when we, can, when we take the other side off these come in very handy, so you may want to have a spare set of these in your toolbox. All right. We're going to take our drum off the car itself. We are not going to reuse this drum because you can see all this rust inside here. It doesn't pay to have this resurfaced in here because the drum, the drum still has all the rust up inside here. The problem with this rust up in here, you see that little uh, spot right there? That little area fits over the top right here. And if you have significant rusting inside here, when this turns up against this, you're going to get a scraping type noise. So we are going to replace this, this drum with a new one, but for now we're just going to put it off to the side. Alright, these are the brake shoes that we're going to be replacing. So let me get a new pair of gloves because I ripped these, and then we're going to, uh, we're going to continue and I'm going to show you how to get this job done. Alright, so here's an example of what kind of tools you're going to need to get this job done. You may not need all of them but this is everything that you possibly will need. All right, obviously we are going to replace the brake pads themselves and the rope and the drum, so that's what we're going to change this. Uh, we are going to need, like I said, you're going to need a longer ratchet with those bolts to take the drum off. Once you have the drum off, this is not going to be used anymore, so we're going to put this off to the side. We're finished with that, and we're finished with this. We're going to need a couple of pairs of pliers, a, a long needle nose pliers, uh, possibly a regular pair of pliers, a couple of different screwdrivers, some locking vice grips, a scraper, another scraper, and a couple of tools like this to get these springs here off of the car. Um, if you don't have these, don't worry, it's not a big deal. You can take it and you can do the same thing with a pair of pliers like this. You can push on top of it, push it in, and get them out. It is a lot more difficult using this, so I would recommend if you're going to do the rear brakes, order these, get them. Um, if you check my Amazon store, I will, I'll put a link down below to the Amazon store. Take a look and you can see these tools are really not that expensive and they make the job go a lot easier. Uh, there's also a tool that we use to clean the rust off of the hubs here as well as the front hubs. It connects onto a drill, whether it's a, a plug-in or a battery powered, and you can clean this up here so you have a nice clean surface to put the new drum up against. All right, we are going to have a bucket such as this underneath here because we are going to clean this up really well before we start taking everything apart because all of this dust that's in there is not good to breathe. So we're going to clean this off with some brake cleaner and we're going to get all of this debris out of here before we start. All right, so what we're going to do now first, we'll put the bucket underneath the bottom. We're going to come in here with our brake cleaner we're not going to spray the brake cleaner at a full blast like this because when you hit it with a full blast it's going to blow all that dust all over the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here we're going to get it wet first very lightly. We're going to spray it down here just to get it to work. And now we're just going to wet everything down 
just a little bit. Once it's wet, then you can spray it to get everything off. But we're just going to wet it down a little bit, just like this. Everything is going down into our bucket. And now once it's wet, then we can spray it really pretty hard to get all that debris off of there. We're still going to wet it a little bit more. Now everything is wet, so now we're going to hit a little bit harder. All right, and now as you can see, all of that material that was in there is now gone. So we're going to let this dry a little bit because it will evaporate very quickly when you're working underneath here. So we're going to let this drip down into this area here. Once it finishes dripping, we're going to take this bucket out of here. And we're all going to have a piece of cardboard underneath it because we don't want to get this stuff all over the floor as well. We're going to have it on cardboard so we can actually throw it away. So once this dries off here, then we're going to get started. But what I will show you first before you do anything is you're going to come up over in here. Get a light over here so you can see what I'm doing. You see this clip right in here? We need to take that clip right there off. See that clip? See this clip right here? We need to take that clip off. And the way you do it, if you look inside there very carefully, you can see there's a little area right here where the clip is joined together. What I normally do is turn this clip to the up position, up against where it's almost touching, like this, up against the brake shoe, like that. Take your screwdriver. Put your screwdriver against the clip like this and push it. I'm going to turn it back up again because it's slid. But as you can see, you see how it's opening up already? So we're going to go against this again here like this. You push it. And you see how the clip pushed down? Now we can get behind that clip. See? Get behind the clip with your screwdriver like this and just push it down. I'm going to take two hands to do this. You're going to take this clip here, hold it with your finger, and push down on it, and you're going to take that clip out. This clip we're going to hold on to. You'll also notice that there's a very small washer inside here too. So we're going to take that washer at the same time out. This. We're going to hold on to that as well. We are not changing the, the springs on here. If we were changing the springs, we would get new clips like this, but we are using the old hardware over again. We're not changing it. All right, so now that we have that clip off right there, now we can continue and start taking everything apart. All right, so the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to come up underneath here, and this I hope you can see in here, but this is your star adjuster right here. You see that star adjuster? Let's get a light in here so you can see. You see that adjuster right there? You need to push that adjuster back just like that. And when you push it back, you get in here with another screwdriver like this, and you could take it and you could rotate like that. And you can take the adjustment off of the brakes so that this star is actually closing, the star adjuster. So now our star adjuster is taken off all the way, and this piston in here on the wheel cylinder is now compressed. And what we do is we take a pair of needle nose vice grips, 
and this brake line right here. We're going to pinch that brake line off. Not too hard that you're going to damage it, but enough to keep the fluid from flowing through it. And we're going to pinch that line off just like that. Now this, when you take the brake shoes off, it's normal for fluid to flow into here, and these pistons will push open. But by putting this vice grip on here, or a special tool that they sell, it'll keep the fluid from traveling into this wheel cylinder and accidentally popping it open. All right, so now that we have a set like that, we're going to take our pair of locking vice grips. Okay. We're going to clip it on here like this. We're going to take this, and we're going to pull that spring up and out just like this. Like that. And like this. And these springs here. We're going to take off right here. The same thing. Watch how this came out because this is very important. I'll just take it off and I'll show you. It's very important that it goes back in the exact same way. You see how long this part of the spring is here? And you see this part of the spring here is shorter? If you put it in reversed, you will never get this back into the vehicle. So make sure that you leave it the way it came off so you don't make a mistake. All right, so this is how it came off, and this is where the star is in the back over there. So we're going to put this right on the floor like this. We're going to get our bucket out of the way because we don't need this anymore. Okay. And now we're going to come in over here. See this small spring right here? We're going to take this small spring, lift it off just like this, and that spring comes off like that. And now this part of the star adjuster is now free, and we can take this out. This is how the star adjuster goes back together, with this part facing in the back. Okay, so we're going to leave this right here on the floor, so we know it goes back together just like that. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take this and pull this out this way. We're going to take our tool, take your hand, and around, you see this pin right here? It looks like a nail coming through. You hold your hand on the back part of the piece in the back here, and you keep it from pushing in. You put your tool on it, push it in, rotate it, and pull it out, and it comes right off. You can see how it has a groove cut across this way, and that's where it comes out. Okay, so we're going to put this down here. We are going to take off this other piece right here that came off. We're going to leave that piece right there. We're going to pull this off. Unhook your spring down here and here. We're going to put the spring down this way because we know it came off that direction. Like that. This is our brake shoe that came off the front right here. Now we're going to do the exact same thing up here. We're going to hold our hand in the back on the other end, what, what, what is in the back there, I'll show you, this is the pin that's in the back. You're holding your finger against the back of this to keep it from moving, and then you're pushing in and rotating it and pulling it out, all right? That's what I'm doing on this one here. Hold my hand in the back. You see how it is here now? I'm going to take it in there, turn it 90 degrees, and it will come right out. Just like that. I'm going to put this down. Sometimes it sticks in here, so we're going to make sure it comes off like that. We're going to take this one here off as well. It goes together just like this. Okay? And then we're going to take this like this. Remember that clip that we took off up on top here? The reason we took that clip off first is because now it's off. We don't have to play around with it on the, on the ground and have to disconnect the cable here. It's already disconnected up here. Remember that clip that we took off that was on there? That's why we took that off first while it was still attached. All right, so now everything is apart here that has to come apart. We're going to take our brake shoes, and you're going to match them up to make sure that they are absolutely exactly the same. There should be no difference whatsoever, except for the thickness of the material here itself. So we're going to line this up here, put it against each other, and you'll look to make sure that this hole is the same as this hole, that this is the same as this, where the wheel cylinder connects into, where your hold down spring goes, and where your bottom spring here goes. So this is exactly the same, so we know that's correct. So this is then trash. This one here is our forward one, which is the exact same thing, like this. Match it up, make sure it's the same. Okay? 
Now when you look at these, they look exactly the same. Front and rear appear to be the same to you. They're not. They're actually two different shoes. One has actually got the, let me show you. You see the shoes here? They look exactly the same, but you see how this brake material here and this brake material here is the same? Look at the one that came off the back. See the one that came off the back, how much more material is on it? So you want to make sure you put your front shoe in the front and your back shoe in the back. Okay? So we know that this one now is the forward shoe. And we know that this one is the rear shoe. Alright? Now the way you put this back together is you put your hand on here. You take this, put it through here, just like this, and you push it through. Okay, now I'm glad this is happening because I'll show you what's happening here. This is not going through there. What happened is when they painted this, paint got in that hole and it clogged it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my workbench. I'm going to take a drill and I'm going to drill this out a little bit here to make it a little bit bigger because the paint needs to come out. Well, maybe I can do it with a screwdriver. Just like that. Just like this. Alright, so we clean all the paint off it. Let's see what happens. And now it goes through just the way it's supposed to, see? Okay? And we're going to take our pad, a break, take our a washer that came off and put the washer on like this. We're going to take our clip that we took off. Now the clip itself, you don't want to lose it because you don't have a replacement for it. And then we're just going to grab the clip by the back and also by that piece on top and you push it. I'm going to rotate this and I'll show you what you're going to do. Okay, you see it now? You see how this is now pushed in? And now we need to take this and we need to get in here like this and squeeze these two together. Just like that. And that's how it is. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this like this. We're going to take our spring like this. Hook our spring back on where we took it off. And this is ready to go back together now. But I'm going to show you what you're going to do before you do anything. Put it back together. You're going to take some kind of a brake lubricant. I use a synthetic brake grease. And every place that the brake pad touches, you see right here, there's, there's usually four or five spots that it touches on. We have here, here. There's one more down on the bottom here. There's one right here, over here. And then there's three more here. And I also put a little dab on here as well. All right, so we're just going to take a little bit of synthetic grease, put a little dab on all of these spots, just like that. And the reason you do this is because it makes the brakes slide a lot easier. And sometimes it'll give you a little bit of a squeaking noise, unless you have this on there. When you apply the brakes, sometimes you'll get a little squeak. All right, so now that we have that on there, we're going to put a little bit of lubricant underneath here as well. Right there. And there. I'm going to put this off to the side, and now we're just going to take this and just rub it in just a little bit like that, okay? Just like that. Same thing on the bottom down here, and here, okay? Now, if you get some grease on here, don't worry about it because you're going to get in here with brake cleaner and you're going to clean it off anyway and it won't be an issue. Okay? Okay, now we're going to take our, our, our piece of the star adjuster and we're going to put it in here where we took it out from. Now, you can pry, you know what, let me just show you this. You could either get in here and you could pry it out with a screwdriver or and just take that back out like that. Pull this this way. Put this in here and back through here. Okay. And here with your pliers. 
Now you could disconnect this spring or if you didn't want to disconnect the spring, you can go back there and you can push it by hand to get it pushed back and in there. Probably easier just taking the spring off. And then this piece is held back in the way it's supposed to be because it's actually in the back over here where it belongs. All right, then we're going to take this and we're going to bring it up here. We're going to make sure that this is in on the bottom piece down here. Then we're going to take our pin. It looks just like a nail. Make sure it comes through like this. Take your inner one, put it on, slide it all the way in the back just like that. We're going to take this, put it on here like that. And now we're going to take our tool, put it on here. This is where you sometimes run into a little bit of a, a problem trying to get it on. But if you just play around with it, Make sure that when you have this in here, you see how that pin is at a 90 degree angle for the opening? You want to make sure that that's how it is, 90 degrees from the opening so it can't possibly come out. Down the bottom here, make sure that you're in where you're supposed to be. Take your spring, put your spring back on like that. Take your other part of the brake shoe, hook it on like this, bring it up just like this, and then we're going to push it up, put your pin right through the back right over here, and right now don't worry about doing anything up here, okay? We're going to take the inner piece of the, uh, the hole down, and you put that on there, again it's like turn it 90 degrees and you push it on over the top, put your other piece over the top like this. Take your tool, put it over the top, and you push it and rotate it, and then we just take a look in here and make sure that that pin is 90 degrees from the opening, which it is, okay? Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to take our star adjuster, and we're going to get the adjuster back in, like we took it out, like this, like this. Let me get it in here, and I'll bring you in closer so you can see. We have our star adjuster right into the brake pad, the brake shoe itself. We have this spring held in place right here, the way it's supposed to be. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold the shoe here, and we're going to pull this together over on the side here. We're going to try to put this star adjuster together. And the way you do that, I'll catch it in here and I'll show you. You see how that star adjuster is? Right inside there, you see how it's sliding into this receiver right over here? It's in there like that. Now you take this screwdriver and you push your adjuster back and you can pull it together a little closer. We're going to take our locking vice grips, grab the spring, and we're going to push it together like that. We'll take this off. And now you can see that it's not closed all the way. You see that little space you have inside there? We're just going to take that and push that star adjuster, that lever, out of the way. And then it's back the way it is. All right, so we have our spring now hooked in here. We have our spring hooked in here. The star adjuster is in the brake shoe itself where it belongs. All right, and that's it. This is all set. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off our pliers here 
and remove this. And the reason we have these on there is to keep the fluid from going in there, to have the piston pushed all the way together, it makes it a lot easier. All right, so this is all together. Let's just go over it one more time to make sure you did it correctly. We lubricated every place that the, that the brake shoe is gonna touch. We lubricated the three points here, the one point down on the bottom here, and here, these three spots right here, and then we made sure that our, our parking brake lever was put back together correctly. We made sure our washer was underneath it. We pinched it back together with our needle nose pliers. If you can't do it with needle nose pliers, you can use a pair of regular pliers, whatever works for you. All right? Um, we made sure that the spring is back into the shoe where it belongs. Our adjuster in the back right here is pushed out of the way so that the, the, uh, the uh, star adjuster could actually clear it. And that's it. We're ready to put the drum back on. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to turn the star adjuster. You see what I'm doing right here with the star adjuster? You come in through here with this tool and you move the tool up like this. You see how it adjusts? Just until it touches. Just like that. So now it's all the way out. Um, the, the way that you adjust the brakes on here, the parking brake shoes, is in the back over here. There's a very small opening in the back here. I'll pull it out, I'll show you. There's a very small so this is what the, uh, what, see this part here is what the hole in the back looks like. I bring you in there, but it's going to be hard to see what it looks like. This piece fits into the hole, so that's the slot that's in the back over here. And you would get in the back with either a screwdriver such as this to make the adjustment, or they sell all different kinds of tools to make the adjustment. But I'm going to show you how to do it without using these kind of tools going in the back over here, because unless you have the one that's specifically made for it, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you. This one is the one that goes in the back up here like that and I can adjust it from right up underneath here just like that. But if you don't have this, I'm going to show you how to do it without doing the adjustment in the back. I'm going to show you how to do the adjustment from right here and it'll be absolutely perfect. So we're going to put this piece back in the back over here because we're not going to use it. So let me get this in first and then we're going to continue here. Okay, so our piece is in the back now. This is all put back together the way it's supposed to be. Let me, well this is actually fairly clean. It looks a little bit dirty, but it's actually, it's, when you touch it, there's no, there's no rust on here, it's just discolored. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we take our, take our drum, take the drum, put the drum on, and as you can see, that drum just spins really freely like this. So we're gonna make an adjustment on it to get a little bit tighter. Before I do that, I'm going to clean this off with some brake, some brake cleaner so that we don't have all that oily residue on there. We're just going to spray it real quick, wipe it out. It doesn't all have to be out, we're just going to get some of it out. We're going to clean the outside off as well. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with a screwdriver and we're just going to adjust this just a little bit. Hear the clicking? That's a normal sound. We're just going to turn it just like that. Okay, then we're going to stop. Take our drum, put our drum over the top like this. And that's good. And that's how you should. That's how the drag should be. You should have enough drag so that you spin at one revolution and it stops. All right. So this job is done. We're going to put the wheels back on. We're going to go to the other side and we're going to continue. Now, if you did the front brakes at this point, after you finish all the brakes, you want to pump the brake pedal up so that way you have a nice firm pedal. But that's it. Uh, that now your parking brake will be adjusted. Your regular um, brakes will be adjusted. Put the wheel on. Road test and you'll be in good shape. If you get a little bit of smoking out of here, don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal. You'll have a little bit of grease on here, and the grease will burn off in a short period of time. But that's it. We're all set. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.